Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on compass surveying. Let us read the question. The following bearings were taken in running an open traverse with a compass in a place where local attraction was suspected. Lines, four bearings and back bearings are given. At what stations do you suspect local attraction? Find the corrected bearing of the lines. The difference between fore bearing and back bearing is 180 degree. If it is not equal to 180 degree, there will be local attraction. The easiest way to check the difference is to look at the minutes. So we have to check the minutes of fore bearing and back bearing. First, let us check the line AB. You can see that both of the minutes are different. So the difference of fore bearing and back bearing will not be 180. Now let us check the line BC. In this line also, the minutes of fore bearing and back bearing are different. So the difference between back bearing and fore bearing will not be 180 degree. Let us check the line CD. Here also the minutes are different. So the difference won't be equal to 190. Now let us check DE. The minutes are same. So here we have possibility the difference may be 190. Let us check that. So for the difference between these two, we have got exactly 190 degree. So the stations D and E are free from local attraction. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us write a line. For bearing of AB is 44 degree 40 minutes. Back bearing means just to reverse. That means B to A. So B2A is 225 degree 20 minutes, BC is 96 degree 20 minutes. For BC, back bearing should be CB, CB is 276 degree 18 minutes, CD is 30 degree 40 minutes. For CD, the back bearing will be DC, so DC is 210 degree 2 minutes, DE is 320 degree 12 minutes. And ED is 140 degree 12 minutes. We know that the stations D and E are free from local attraction. So the readings taken from them will be correct. These two readings are taken from the station D. So both of these readings should be correct. This reading is taken from the station E. So this reading also should be correct. Now let us make two more columns. The first additional column will have the correction and the second additional column will have the corrected bearings. We know that these three readings are correct. So no correction is required. We can enter them in the corrected bearings directly. We know that in these three readings there is no error. This is the back bearing of CD. Using that, we can find the four bearing. The formula to find the four bearing is back bearing plus or minus 180. If the back bearing is less than 180, we have to take the positive sign. And if the back bearing is more than 180, we have to use the negative sign. This reading is more than 180. So in the formula, we have to use the negative sign. We have got 30 degree 2 minutes. So that is the corrected bearing for CD. Now let us find how much correction we have applied. We know that this is higher than this value. So the correction should be negative. 30 degree 2 minutes minus 30 degree 40 minutes. We will get minus 38 minutes. We know that these two readings are taken in the station C. 
So the same correction should be applied here also. We have got 275 degree 40 minutes. We know that CB is back bearing of BC. So using this formula we can find the four bearing of BC but the corrected bearing is 275 degree 40 minutes. We know that this reading is more than 180. If it is more than 180 we have to use the negative sign 275 degree 40 minutes minus 180 degree we will get 95 degree 40 minutes. Let us apply that. Now let us find the correction 95 degree 40 minutes minus 96 degree 20 minutes we will get negative 40 minutes since this value is bigger than this value the correction will be negative we know that these two readings are taken in the same station B so the same correction should be applied here 225 degree 20 minutes minus 40 minutes we will get 224 degree 40 minutes we know that BA is the back bearing of AB. Using this formula, we can find the four bearing AB. Since it is more than 190, we have to use the negative sign in the formula. 224 40 second minus 180 degree, we will get 44 degree 40 seconds, the same as the original reading. So there is no correction required here. We know that this reading is taken in the station A. So the station A also is free of local attraction. Here I have rearranged the table with the corrected readings. We know that the stations A, D and E are free from local attraction. And the stations B and C are affected by local attraction. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.